Okay, dear Cancer. <laughs> well, my question is, what are you manifesting during this moon's energy? And it's almost like these are reiterating each other, right? We have the Ace of Hearts, which is the Queen of Cups, right? We have the King of Cups. We have the Three of Clubs, the Four of Hearts. We have the Trump of Spades and the Nine of Diamonds. We also have the Lovers, the Queen of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Ace of Cups, the Eight of Cups, and the Hanged One. So what you are you releasing <laughs> during this? You're releasing and walking away from probably things from the past year, a lot of like um, releasing a lot of emotions, right? And you've been writing your way out of your emotions. You've been writing your way out of like problems into solutions, right? And walking away and letting things go. So you let go of some things through the writing process. We do have um, new love, right, that you've been waiting on. You've been waiting on new love to come around since you walked away from the past, right? And just kind of really releasing the past and embracing self-healing, self-love, self-nurturing, and practicing some patience, right? Um, gaining new perspective on love. Well, you know, you're manifesting the, the king and the queen. And you've been, it's like you wrote out your intentions and it's coming in. So let's see. Your ships are coming in. Your ships are here. They're coming in. Uh, it's new perspective on love, right? Just having a new perspective all the way around on loving relationships. And it is a relationship that's coming in for you. Queen of Cups, your energy. What do we have? The beginning phases of love with the Two of Cups infatuation, of course, because it is... <laughs> it is infatuation and soul like soulmate energy but like making a decision to to choose for yourself right to choose to love you there could be a reconciliation here ace of cups two of cups energy coming together um with this lover's card um some of you may have to decide between do I want to stay on the path that I'm at? Do I want to go over here or between two people all the way around? It's really up to you. Uh what I mean about the passion is here. It it's here. You you're you know, you got your feel goods on here. You're beginning to feel better. You're getting your your mojo back. And the relationship that's coming in for you is perfect for you in heaven, right? So that's what you're manifesting. A relationship where sparks are flying and you're getting you're getting your groove back, right? Nine of Pentacles energy here. New perspective and like doing the work. You're also manifesting money. Um, the person coming in may be may be a person that has stacks of cash. <laughs> Literally. Okay. So they're they're well to do. We have the winter solstice and independence day, meaning this is a, a relationship that's probably going to, sparks are probably going to fly during the 4th of July. However, uh, if your birthday falls on the 4th or the 19th, this could be more specific to you. But this is just letting me know that there's significant dates coming up, um, you know, from now until next season. Uh, so this is... This is a relationship that's going to stick and stay at least throughout 2024. And I don't know. It looks really good. It just did a lot. You've been doing a lot of healing and just viewing relationships as a whole and the way that you you carry yourself in them. Not letting, you know, not allowing anyone to take away your confidence. And you're filled with confidence at this time. and. So is this person that's coming in for you. This is a person that does want a family. Like they are about a relationship, a loving, soulful relationship. Two of cups, four of hearts. So, you know, this is the beginning. This is the beginning. And this is the beginning of a real relationship, right? Of building that foundation. And it's you, you know, it's all here for you. Um, here's the love offer. Here's the love offer. Here's the union. Um, it's all about you. It's what you've been waiting on. And it seems like 
those who, who did wait are, you know, did some homework, releasing some emotions, letting the past go, and really practicing patience, right? Like not just rushing the process. You didn't rush the writing process. You didn't rush the healing process. You poured into your own cup. And, well, here and here, you poured into your own cup here. And this is what you're creating, that two of cups space for a relationship <laughs> so we have four cups combined here right um you've been withdrawn that's all you know, withdrawn from from relationships but over here you're building that relationships okay so it's like you withdrew from dating and relating and just taking time out to heal and to get to get your mojo back and the person that's coming in, it's, it's a great soulful union. All right, dear Cancer, good luck on your path. Many blessings. Please consider to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Bye.